Okay, so I am doing, as you can tell by the title, uh, my list of places or things that you can use um, on kind of like a budget um, for your practice. So a lot of these you will have likely already seen in other beginner budget pagan practice videos. And I'm just kind of adding into the mix. So here we go. First is light. <coughs> Sorry. First is your library. Um, I know um, library systems are different from city to city, province to province, or state or whatever where you are. Um, so depending on um, size or like availability availability of items, you might not be able to have all of the the things. So I'm going to say that say larger cities um, systems would um, even here I where I am the next city over has some more um, a, a slightly slightly better um, pagan new age selection just only slightly um, than where I am so even a city over can um, change but um, you got physical books you got the internet um, you got, um, like if you go on the website for your library, they could have like databases where you could get um, articles, ebooks, audio books, um, and even depending on your library, there's there could be a variety of um, application, like um, services, like for Eagle, music um, you can get different kinds of um, music so you might find a song or like um, set up a playlist or whatever on there depending on what's on there um, sometimes there will be book sales so the larger the library the better not like better chance but there's a chance that you might find something um, for like 50 cents, 25 cents or something. At my library, there's a bookshelf all year round where they have um, some books for sale. Others, um, libraries like out in Vancouver will have, I think it's like annual or biannual um, book sale and like it's a huge selection. So, and depending on your library um, interloan um, systems with other libraries. So if your library is in a partnership and say you want a certain book um, and that system doesn't have it, but they're in a partnership with another library and they have it, they um, would loan it to you. So that's one. Um, two is thrift stores. So we got books, decor, clothing, home goods, etc. So um, you can find um, some books or CDs um, under like five dollars, depending on how they set their prices. Clothing would vary um, depending on the thrift store you go to. You're, you're looking at like a dollar to 10 15 some places mark like I've seen some pieces of clothing um, reach the 30 50 dollar mark but um, holidays you got like um, Christmas and Halloween so you can get your like Samhain and Yule stuff there um, So you can get 
So like go diff at different times, different days, um, cause the items do um, change around. Third one kind of leads into um, the thrift stores, but third one is used bookstores. Um, so you can find um, books cheaper. Um, some someone some stores you might not find like the recent releases, um, but depending on the day and your city and what they accept into the store, you can find from time to time a decent book. I found like two, 102, at least two decks. Um, my first um, Casanova Tarot I found there. Um, they re-released it about a year or so ago. Um, I did a video comparing the two, um, but yeah. And they got like another or another deck there as well. Um, some also do like DVDs, so you can find depending on what you want to watch. Uh, you may find it there. So yeah. So it's it all depends on like when you go there and depending on. The selection and what they accept. Fourth is dollar stores, Dollarama, Dollar Tree, your dollar store with more, whatever store you is near you or whatever. Um, like thrift stores, you can find candles, journals, stationery, spices and herbs, home goods, containers. All for between a dollar, dollar twenty-five, three to four dollars, depending on what store you go to, like what location you go to, and what uh, chain you go to. Because uh, the Dollar Tree up here in Canada, everything is a dollar twenty-five, except for some of the candies, which are about a dollar. And so. You can find crafts, seasonal items, um, those like little glass jars, um, vials you, you can get as well. And so <coughs> place five is going back to internet. So the main one is YouTube. So watching this video, watching other people's videos, you can get, you can find, um, hopefully, the people you find interesting and would want to con continuously watch. So, like for me, Kellyanne Maddox, or The Witch of Wanderlust, or The Green Witch, Hearth Witch, those, um, I continuously go back to I'm looking to expand who I watch so uh, I'm looking into that but you got those as well you got like podcasts blogs so you like you can find courses standalone videos like some youtubers do series My Karth Witch did a like a kind of like a series on the um, different figure candles she does um, and like their symbolism and everything. Um, music meditation and adding into this like other social media like Instagram, Facebook, and whatever. So you can find hopefully find your audio or visual t to help you out. Um, find universal items or multi-use items. So like um, the color white, um, clear quartz for crystals. Um, find items that can be multi-use. 
So, um, like something you wear can be a piece of symbolism, but also like you can um, work on it so it would protect you. So find multi-use, multi-purpose items that can help you out. Uh, seven apps. So going back <laughs> to number five. So apps like Amino. Um, there's a few different pagan Wicca related communities on there. You can also find um, a wide variety of other communities on Amino and some of the communities um, have their own app you can download so you don't have to download Amino but if you're in the broom closet you can just download the Amino app and then join the community plus along other ones as well um, with the witches and pagans how you can download separately if you want if you just use that community um, so there's moon faces, tea timers, book of spells, um, horoscopes, tarot, um, palm reading ones. So there's a variety of apps um, that you could download and use for yourself or be try and find a community. Eight seasonal items. So you can find this at um, previous points that I've mentioned before. So like Halloween, Christmas, you can either buy those like full price or wait until it's clearanced out or like um, Easter, Thanksgiving, fall sales, like depending on where you are. <laughs> like if you're wanting to make a trip up to Canada because our Thanksgiving is on, in October, <laughs> but wait until like quarantine, like not quarantine, but like COVID and like tra travel restrictions have opened, um, uh, opened up more. <laughs> so, or you can like wait until they're being clearanced out. So you can use these popular or yearly holidays to get candles, um, dish towels, um, plates or clothing or whatever to bring into your practice. So like Walmart or um, Zares or wherever. Nine, what you already have. Like use up what you already have before buying all these new things. Um, if you regularly buy salt use that <laughs> um or like if you already grow herbs have that um if you have a like a certain shirt that you love use that in your ritual or whatever um pens paper um routines that you have so like or bring something into your routine um, that you can do. So use what you already have, the time that you already have, so you don't have to create or like bring in something that um, breaks the bank or costs you more time. So use what you already have. Um, 10 garage sales or online sales like Marketplace on Facebook. I haven't used Marketplace, so I don't like. It looks okay. Um, Craigslist, Freecycle, eBay, wherever. So you can get um, books, home decor, candles, whatever. Either if you're going on a garage sale, some might have like candles for like 10 cents or whatever. Um, on marketplace or online services, they might have it for like a dollar or whatever. I don't know people's pricings, so um, check 
places out um, so you can find cheap things depending on what um, where you are um, 11 so getting <laughs> this might see counter this might seem counter and might counteract the previous one but Etsy or Amazon <laughs> if you have saved up <coughs> or whatever or want um, or you can't find the things that you do want to incorporate Etsy or Amazon I would first first go to um, Etsy because you are supporting um, the person that made it in purchasing their homemade um, goods whether it's uh, candles or stickers journals um, printables some offer printables so and you can find a wide range of items on both Etsy and Amazon Amazon you might be able to find stuff in bulk like if you're a tea drinker <laughs> um, a little while back I bought the box of a hundred tea bags from stash of the of their peppermint so love that <laughs> um so depending on what you're looking for you might be might be able to actually find a deal if not you might have to pay that little extra depending on what you want so in a way this can be um a budget um tip or just have a goal in mind and save for it type of tip um 12 nature stones water like river water moon um rain water storm water um feathers sticks etc what you find on the ground don't purposely like find a bird and pluck its feather don't do that that's like freaking cruel And like don't purposely like saw off like a branch or whatever for your own use if it's fallen off of an animal or the plant yeah okay <laughs> but good intentions 13 and this is my last one for this video is DIY do it yourself get the supplies from the dollar store or Walmart, Michaels, whatever, and make it yourself. Like, um, which is bottles. Like, if you don't have a certain, like, if you don't have a container, but you have the certain herbs or materials that you want to put in there, um, get the container and then put it in there. Or like, if you're doing money, like bowls, like money bowls or whatever, you have the bowl, but you just need the one or two thing. Get it create it um toilet paper rolls we use those um if you drink um any kind of any kind of bottled drink and they come in either glass or plastic we use those diy that into something um so there are options <laughs> options for you out there so hope like hopefully like I know I think pretty much all of these aren't mind-blowing new tips for people but it's just my thoughts of what you can get out of these locations you can find some pretty decent um, items whether it's physically or electronically because some people would might, might prefer either or or a mix, so options. <laughs> you got options like stickers, you can find those at, can find them somewhat cheap like at the dollar stores or Etsy or specific online shops or whatever if like if you like that, but yeah. So hope 
you find found this somewhat interesting liked it in any way so yeah happy readings